For this month's main video, I want to give you four tips for running a business with your spouse without ruining your marriage. Going into business with your spouse can be an amazing opportunity, but it can also be a total nightmare. You know, regardless of how amazing your love life is, well, there's no guarantee that you'll be equally compatible in a working relationship. And if things don't work out, it can wreck both your business and your marriage. That said, if you're willing to stick it out, establish appropriate boundaries, and respect each other's differences, building a business with your spouse can be one of the most rewarding experiences ever. Here are four tips to improve your odds for success. Number one, formally document the business relationship. Before getting started, clearly outline the terms and condition of your company's ownership, its operation, and dissolution in a formal legal agreement signed by you both. Just creating these agreements will often show you how well you work together. You should have all of your agreements reviewed by an experienced business lawyer, well, like yours truly. Uh, and don't ever rely on generic online agreements. We can not only ensure that your agreements are sound and in compliance with state law, but also help you resolve conflicts that are inevitable to business formations. All right, number two, clearly define your responsibilities. Although you may have a casual division of household chores, trying to run a business without clearly defined roles and responsibilities is a recipe for disaster. With each of you trying to do your things your own way, you're bound to run into conflict and encounter redundancy. Indeed, you should clearly define the operations, responsibilities, and decision-making powers based on your individual strengths and your preferences. In this way, you can divide and conquer the aspects of the business where each of you naturally excel and use your differences to complement rather than restrict your company's success. All right, number three, set up your business entity. Unless you set up a separate legal entity for your business, it will automatically be considered either a partnership, if you're both owners, or a sole proprietorship for tax purposes. And since partnerships come with complex tax filing requirements and sole proprietorships offer no liability protection for your personal assets, they're often not the best entity for a family business. Consider setting up your business as a limited liability company or an S corporation. In both entities, not only shield your personal assets from debts and lawsuits incurred by your business, but also offer numerous tax benefits. However, beyond LLCs and S corps, there are other entities that might be better suited to your business. So again, consult with us to discuss your options. Number four, have your own space. While it might sound appealing to spend all day, every day working together, this can actually be unhealthy for both your business and your marriage. This is particularly true if you work from home, where the line between your business and home light, it can disappear completely. Consider creating workspaces so that way you'll have the freedom to develop your own routines and establish a boundary between personal and business life. If you can't afford an outside office, you can work in separate rooms or try a community office space. These workspaces like community spaces, they're a great way to get out of the house, network with others and maintain your sanity. When you're going into business anytime, but especially with your spouse, Keep your eyes wide open. Before going into business with your spouse, get clear on the potential problems, the risks, and the benefits that the venture might entail. As your family business lawyer, we can help you manage the legal, insurance, financial, and tax issues to ensure that your business and your marriage stay as healthy as possible. On the first Friday of each month, the Gordillo Law Firm will have videos on how to use the law to take care of your business and your family. We'll also provide a spotlight for a local artist or arts organization. This month's videos are here on the right. If these subjects interest you, consider subscribing. And of course, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button for us.